it's the other way. Hi, everyone. No one's in yet. I want to see when people come in. Open the chat. No, there's no one in it yet. We'll wait. I don't know if it will stay here. Oops. You think it will, like, get the whole meat? Let's see. Try turning sideways now and see if it will get the whole workout when you do, like... Well, no, no, I'll, like I'll be, like, right here, so that's okay. 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 Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hi! <laughs> oh, there's no one in there yet. There's eight people. Oh, there's nine people. <laughs> Yay! Okay, guys. So, welcome. Who people saying hello? Yeah, people chat in so I can see who's here. Jessica... This is Kim. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see who's here. Start typing in. Ooh, they're 16. We're getting there. This is exciting. We'll start. We'll give it a little bit more time to get some more people in. Oh, someone left. Now we're at 14. People are leaving. They're coming and leaving. Hello from Ohio. Hi. Ohio. Oh, it's Jody. I see you on the emails all the time, but it's the first time on here. How exciting. Is everyone doing okay? Staying safe, I hope. I think we're kind of leveled out. It's like 13, 14. We probably can get started. Okay, so anyone that doesn't know, my name's Krista. Um, I'm a physical therapist. I'm coming out of Delray. This is my home clinic. Um, I am a senior clinic manager, so I oversee Deerfield, Boca, and West Boynton. Um, I hope you guys are excited for this little activity we put together. So it's going to be working on balance. Um, I went through and we looked to see who our main watchers are. And it's kind of the age group between 45 and 60. So I was going to do a lot of more basic exercises, but I decided I was making it a little bit more intermediate. So this way you can either make them easier or harder based on who you're going to be doing this with. So let's get started. So the first exercise I'm going to show you is going to be a single leg stance. So all you're going to do is you're going to be standing. If you're at home, make sure you're doing these by your kitchen counter or your kitchen sink. I say this for the reason of if you're doing it by a chair, a chair will easily fall if you're going to grab it, whereas a kitchen sink, you can't pull that out of your sink. Um, so just for safety first. Also, make sure you have sneakers on. And then for the point of this exercise is today, if you're a little more advanced, you can grab a couple hand weights if you have them, or we can even do like cans of soup is fine. Anything around your, home, your house that you can hold on to, that weighs a little bit. Um, and then also too, if you don't have a floor that will slide, grab a towel or something to use to put underneath your sneaker because that will help slide because some of the exercises are gonna need the use of that as well. Um, I have a little slider here, but if you don't have those, a towel will work just fine. So does anyone have any questions? Anything that you need to go grab for this balance exercise? I'm waiting for you to type. I don't see any extra. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is, you're gonna start with, I'll do different angles so you guys can see. I can have Kim move the camera around too if we need to. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on standing on one leg. If you're pretty good at standing on one leg without losing your balance, without holding on to anything, we'll start with trying to squat and then come back up. You can see I'm even kind of challenged with this. My ankle is really working right now, moving back and forth to hold that when I go down. So leg in front, slide down. So we're gonna do 15 of those. So that's one, two, three, four, So you can see my knee is kind of caving in a little bit. I got a little bit of hip weakness on this side. Eight, seven, lose your track. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good, take a rest. Anyone saying anything? <laughs> Kim's over reading the messages. <laughs> I'm gonna make you do these too, Kim. <laughs> okay, so now we'll switch legs. If you had any issues with those, again, just don't have to squat. You can just work on standing on one leg and modify it. If you can't get down low enough, 
Just do a little baby up and down. You don't have to get it so low. So let's do 15 on that side. It's two, three. <laughs> Andrew says he's resting. <laughs> four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. I'm getting a workout in. I'm sorry, sweating. <laughs> 13. 14. 15. Okay. How you guys feeling after that one? Okay, I'm getting a workout in. Is anyone saying anything? I'm resting. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do single leg cross body punches. So whether you have cans or weights, Whatever it may be. So this exercise is going to be using a little bit of dynamic. So you're going to be standing on one leg. While you're standing on that one leg, you're going to cross and punch across your body. So we're going to do 20 on each arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can speed it up to get a little harder. Or again, if this is too challenging, you can always take the weights away and just do the arms. I lost track of count. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We'll do this one a little bit at a time. Good. And then we'll rest. And then we'll switch and do the other leg. So now you're going to stand on the left leg or the right, whichever one you're going to do first. You can make this one even harder than this if you really want it to kind of bend and reach. As opposed to just punching. And this makes it even harder. You're cheating. <laughs> Lose my balance. Good. We'll take your rest from that one. How's everyone feeling? All right. Someone else said something. Hello, hi. Okay. So the next one, this is the one where if you're on a hardwood floor right now, um, you're gonna need a towel or something to slide. So what you're gonna see is I have a little disc underneath my foot. What we're gonna do is you have arms over your head, and you're gonna slide back and up. Now again, if you're first time trying this, Make sure you rest your hand on your kitchen counter or something steady so you can kind of get a feel for how it feels. You don't want to just go and do it because your leg might just slip way back behind you. So once everyone's ready, we're going to go ahead and we'll do 15 on each leg. So one, two, I think I should turn some aerobic music on. <laughs> Three, <laughs> four, five, Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five. Those legs are getting tired because mine are seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Take rest. My legs are getting tired. How many people do we have? Oh, there's 21 watching. How exciting. I didn't have any questions so far. You can go ahead and type them. We're watching. I need to get some water. I'm really thirsty. Hi, Mike. <laughs> 
next one similar to that one we just did. So you're still going to need your towel um, or something that you can slide on on your floor. And this time we're going to go out to the side. So it's going to be a side lunge. Similar idea. Again, if it's your first time trying this exercise, hold on to something on your table, um, on your counter, so you don't slide out too far and we have an incident. So up, down. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Put that on Snapchat. Jeremy. <laughs> Ten. Kim's only going to take good videos and sending them to the other staff. 13. 14. 15. Okay. And then we'll switch legs. I got to turn sideways though, guys, because the camera's in the wrong area. I'm going to get it. Same idea. Two. Three. Andrew's over here, nice form. A, what? Who's Andrew. <laughs> he said nice form. <laughs> I have really tight hips, so my squatting form is not very good. <laughs> One more. Fifteen. Good. I've been feeling good. <sighs> okay. Next one. One leg press. Okay, so we can grab your can of soup or your little hand weight again. And this time, similar idea, so make it a little easier or harder. So we're gonna stand on one leg, and while you're standing on one leg, you're gonna go ahead and press up and down. So you're gonna stand, do, sorry, I was doing it wrong. So do the opposite arm and opposite leg. So if you're standing on your right leg, we're gonna press up with the left. Again, this is working on your dynamic standing balance. I lost track. Count, can you, can you count for me? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> I'm trying to talk and count at the same time, multitasking at its finest. How many is that? Is it 12? 13. Okay. 14, one more. 15. Good. What are people saying? <laughs> we'll switch to the other side. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What are people saying? Eight. Angie said, <laughs> so balanced to such form. <laughs> <laughs> so, how many people are watching? 26. Yeah. It's going up. Are you guys enjoying this yet? Good workout? I don't, I'm sweating over here. Yes, here. Brandy, count with us, please. <laughs> She's counting. <laughs> I'm being a bad counter, guys. I'm being really bad counting. All right. How's everyone feeling? Okay, so far? So these have been, you know, it's somewhat intermediate exercises, okay? They, you know, they're not super easy, but there's ways to make them easier or harder depending on your level, like I said. So if you have any questions, ask them because I can let you know a safer way. We also do with Cora, we have our falls prevention program. So you can check the links out below. Brandy will post them. And they actually give you documents on ways to prevent falls in the home with your elderly, um, family members, people in your neighborhood. Go ahead and feel free to share those. Um, they're there for your guys' use. So. Next one. Let's do. Let's see. We'll do a single leg. All right. We'll do. Let's do some bird dog. No, we'll do squats on a yoga mat. Okay. So for at home, whether I know in the clinics, a lot of us we have our foam mats and things that we use for balance. So at home, you guys can take a pillow, um, put it on the floor. That gives you a little unsteady balance. You can take a rolled up yoga mat to stand on as well. That would work. Um, you could take, if you have a couch cushion, take that off, put it on the floor. Either one of those things will work. So let me get what I need. Let me grab a chair.
So go ahead guys, so you can grab a chair, kitchen chair. Um, you can do it off the couch, it's fine. And then I'm gonna use one of our blue foam bounce mats. So on this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the rolled up yoga mat, foam, push pillow, whatever it may be, and you're gonna put it underneath your feet. And then as you do, you're gonna put your hands up front, and we're gonna work on standing up. So you're just gonna stand up, and then back down. Up, down, good. Some of you now, you may need to use your arms to get up. That's okay, it's a progression we can work towards getting those legs stronger as you go on. But if you can do it without holding on, that's the way to do it because it's less support and it's gonna work more on the balance. Now we can make it even harder. So if the two legs is too easy, you can try one leg. So you can put one leg out and stand up on one leg. <laughs> and then back down. Tanya asked or a stability ball. Oh, or you can say a stability ball. That's good, yeah. I like that idea. Okay, so we're gonna do 15 of those. I'm gonna try them single leg. We'll see how it goes. So that was one. Two, three, four, five. On the next set, I'll turn and I'll do the other angle so you guys can see. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 12. You guys can see my ankles really working as I do this. <laughs> Holding that balance. 13. 14. These are good too, even for athletes, guys. You know, not even just the elderly. You can see me, you know, I'm pretty athletic. I go to the gym a lot. These are still kind of challenging for me. My ankle is really working. Good. Okay, I'll take a rest for a minute. <laughs> and then we'll do the other leg. If you did both legs, just take a rest. You don't have to do another set of 15 unless you're really feeling up to it. Whoa, this one's hard. One, two, three. <laughs> Jeremy said, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, <yeah. laughs> Five. So my, you can see my left leg is a lot worse than my right one was. I have a history of ankle problems on that left side, so it's always been the weaker side. Ooh, sounds like they're long. <laughs> What'd they say? Jeremy said, I love functional activities. This is great. <laughs> Renee said, best thing that happened for me after my knee surgery was going to Cora and Pembroke. They are awesome. Aww. Aww. I love hearing that. I'll let them know. <laughs> Who did you work with at Pembroke? What did you say? All right. How's everyone feeling? God, I'm sweating. Look at this. <laughs> I got a glistening. Working hard. I'm glowing. <laughs> Sparkling. All right. So we got a couple more we'll do. Um, the next one we do is gonna be like a core strengthening balance. So it's gonna need to require you to be on your hands and knees. If you're not able to get on your hands and knees, um, I'll show you a modification of that. So Kim, I'm gonna have you hold on to this because I gotta get on the table. So you're able, you can get on underneath of your knees to make it a little more comfortable if you have a hard floor. So you can take a pillow and put them like this. So it's a little more um, padding. So what you're going to do is you want to keep your back neutral. Okay. So we're going to start with pretty easy that back nice and neutral. If you go to lift your arm up and you feel your whole body kind of turn, you really want to focus on keeping your hips from turning and everything staying nice and neutral. So you're going to lift one arm up and then down. You can try the other one and down. So this is an 
you know, a pretty easy version. You can start with just the arms, keeping that core nice and tight. Then we can progress to legs. So now you can lift one leg up. Same idea, you can have the eye kind of tilt a little bit. So you want to make sure you keep those hips nice and straight and neutral. And keep that core nice and tight. <laughs> Are there any exercise I can do with the china cabinet, a garage door? <laughs> oh my gosh, Michael. A china cabinet? Gina said to use some bands, Krista. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you could take a band and you could hook it and pull through as well. But that's kind of advanced. You know, we're trying to keep this one a little intermediate. Good. We'll do one more on each side. You can see though I'm starting to shake. Like this is not that easy of a thing to do. <laughs> and Jeremy. Good. Okay. Oh, we got some time. Oh, we got time. One more. Okay. So the last one we're going to do the same idea. You're going to be on your knees. Um, use a pillow so this one can really get kind of challenging. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring one leg up so you're kind of in the split leg stance. And then what I want you to do is to bring that front foot directly in front of that knee. You can see as soon as I did that, my whole body kind of went like this. So your foot, you don't have to touch the heel to your knee just yet, but just putting it in front of it and trying to hold it. Once you kind of find your balance, you can put your hands up over your head and then hold it there. And then once that, if that's still a little too easy and you're not working that hard, slide that foot back your basic support even smaller and then hold it. Good. And if you want to make it even harder, you can take a weight woo, and do some turns. You're not using a weight, just turning without holding the weight to add some movement. Side to side. You can cross this way and then up. Some PNF pattern. Jeremy likes this one. She likes this one? Yeah. yeah. It's a good one. It's, it, looks, it looks really easy, guys, but it really is challenging. Um, it really does challenge. Same idea. Bring that foot back. Make it even harder once you get it. The cool thing with balance, too, is it's, you know, it's similar to our other body systems. It really does improve and get better with practice. Um, and unlike strength, it gets better pretty quickly. So we'll go back. Go across. I'll be right with you. <laughs> and then switch going the other way. Good. 